So one of the basic steps before you start um, analyzing the campaigns and before you know what to do is to analyze the statistics of all the campaigns. And uh, there are more than enough uh, stats on Ahello to help you with that. Uh, of course, the first page is the dashboard, which gives you a quick overview of where the revenue is versus the cost. Uh, so you can see for this Amazon US Natural Things main, the revenue versus the cost is okay, is better. But for the other one, it's um, a lot of spend with no revenues. Uh, this is just a rough, you know, uh, bird's eye view of each how each profile is doing. Uh, let's dig deeper into campaigns. Uh, you go into campaigns and you select one of the profile. You can see the spend versus the revenue below and you can check on total clicks you know how the total clicks are doing you can even um, switch off some of it and you can see what are the total impressions doing the impressions are kind of going down uh, you can see the air cost percentage is uh, up and down but it's not doing really well um, the most important of all what is the conversion ratio uh, so i'm going to switch off all of it you can double click on uh, any one to just show that you know that statistic uh, so you can see the conversion ratio over here uh, for the campaign, uh, I switched off the sales, so the conversion ratio has been good, but it has been dropping significantly. Uh, this will also help you A-B test and see how uh, things are performing as time goes by. Um, uh, the second part is uh, you can just scroll to the right and you can check the different stats. Uh, for the last, usually the default is 30 days, but you can make it you know 60 days or 90 days or 120 days. So I'm going to click on last 120 days, uh, and you can see the impressions, the cost per click, the average cost per click for this complete profile. Uh, the CPC, the click-through ratio 0 0.8 has been good, but the CVR is 3.65, which is bad. Uh, the earnings per click is 0 0.59. That means uh, the user has spent one and a half dollars for each click, but he has earned only 0 0.5 cent for each uh, for each click, uh, which is uh, not good at all. So you're losing money on ads, you're losing money on Amazon. Uh, the same statistics can be applied on a campaign level. You select a campaign and you can scroll down and you can see what is the spend versus the sale. Uh, here you can sort by spend or you can sort by sale. You can even filter out. So I want to see everything that is uh, greater than zero. And I want to see only enabled campaigns. So that all the campaigns are enabled. Uh, you can do similar filtering for all the statistics. And there are some extra columns that you can you know just switch on uh, or you can switch off. Uh, on the right. Um, once you've done that, you can see we can sort by spend um, reverse. So you can see this campaign has spent the most, uh, but the cost is really horrible 316. The cost when uh, all the campaigns are really bad. So you can dig into one by one for all of it. Um, you can see the graph below similar to the profile and you can switch on and you can check you know, the click through rate or the conversion rate. Um, if you just want to you know isolate conversion rate so you can double click on conversion rate or you can just click and hide the rest of it so there's the conversion rate for this campaign um, you can go into ad groups you can select the ad group and uh, once you select the ad group you can see all the keywords 110 um, which is exceptionally too high and here if you sort by spend as well uh, you can see this Natural bar soap has highest spend for the last 30 days. Let's make it last 120 days. Um, again, men's soap has the highest spend and the echoes is 105, really bad. You can click on the keyword and you can see how it has performed in the last um, one month. You can change it to last 120 days and you can see how it has performed. Uh, so it performed in June, but right now we're in August and it hasn't performed anything in August. So May 13th was the best performance, May June 10th. So what was that? May 13th, the bid was 2.31. And on June 10th, the bid was 3.28. Uh, so you can probably try increasing the bid back to 2.38 or 2.53, and you can see how it performs. Uh, so you go to the bid, men's soap and you make it 2.3 um, and we'll see how it performs you know once the the bid has been updated for this particular keyword um, you could do the same for other keywords just click on the keyword and you can see the stats of how it is performing you can uh, check the last 120 days and you can see that it has only performed on august 2nd which is not really 
that good of a performance if you if you if you see that so what you could do is instead you know sort by sales reverse and you can see this keyword has performed so bug pack has performed the best um, here what, what is happening is uh, we have a max autopilot bid enabled so that's why it's unable to go beyond 1.55 uh, we check the last 120 days um, on June 11th it has performed the best and June 11th is um, is at a bit of 1.49 so it's unable to go beyond 1.55 I think that's probably because the max autopilot bid is set to 1.55 we can check it out by clicking on columns and checking on max autopilot bid and max autopilot target calls um, so the max autopilot bid is not set to 1.55 that means we need to find out why autopilot is not going above 1.55 it seems to be stuck from 1.5 to 1.55 so bug pack so we can go to campaigns you can click on the autopilot log and we can filter by so bar pack So this is the keyword and it's not raising it above 1.55. Um, so new bid 1.55 is greater than our historic CPC and historic cause is greater than our target cause. So um, the reason why it is not raising it is because historically the, the best CPC has been 1.36 and uh, it's saying the new bid is greater than our uh, historic CPC and historic at cost is greater than target at cost. Um, so that's the reason. So it thinks uh, the bid of uh, 1.36 is the best performing for it. So it's going to leave it at that. Uh, if it consider the broad phase so bar pack, uh, increase the bid because there has been no, uh, no span. Uh, we can click over here and you can check the stats as well. Um, how it has performed historically. We can even change the date to last 120 days. And I can see it has spent all the time, but it has never sold anything. So this is really a bad uh, target. Um, it's the same for um, Sobar Pack Exact. Um, the circuit breaker is $4 uh, and it's trying to increase it to 4.7. So it has hit the circuit breaker and we check the past uh, last 120 days and um, we can see that it has uh, it has not made any sale at all, and that's why it's trying to um, increase the bid because there are no impressions, no sales, no click. Um, that is the you know the basic of the stats. Um, all of it depends on um, our columns here, and you can enable extra columns on the right. Um, you can click on each keyword and you can check you know what, what it is doing you can also go to campaigns go to the autopilot log and you can um, um, you can check for the autopilot log why uh, autopilot is acting the way it is acting um, yeah so that's the the basic stats of um, yeah hello autopilot